three, two, one. Begin. I mean, I may talk crap about Preston sometimes, but he is a really good commander. Or he, even yeah. better yet, he is a commander, which is more than most teams can field so freely. In the end, I guess he really is the Supreme Commander. And Val, oh, I'm going God. to do something to you that is probably not going to be pleasant. It's going to involve my teeth and a spoon. Ooh. Procedural music has decided to have one drum beat with Mongolian drum dr singing for a bit. It's called Atmosphere. Atmosphere, we're in space. Well, that means we have to bring extra atmosphere. We bring the atmosphere to us. So it looks like they are maneuvering. And blinking out. Tell NASA to start playing jazz in space. I'm pretty sure they do play jazz on the space station. Be Shadow taking some Hydrofire. Do you wonder if Preston has given them the total rundown on shunting? Oh no. One of the screens is on fire. Oh Damn. no. What the fuck do they put into these things? Lithium. <laughs> yeah, my lithium powered screen. Remember all those Android phones exploding? That's where they put them. Oh yeah. Uh... That's what space and near screens are. They're just a bunch of networks. Uh... <laughs> Galaxy Note 3s. <laughs> oh yeah, we can do audio because it's probably not broken, hopefully. That single ape's not really enough to burn through all the trident health. Wiseman is falling. Without the damage, just made many? No, it shouldn't be. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, looks fine on my end. your toolbar there now. Get a little bit of a blink of Zero and Reaper. Now mixing it up together. Zero is alone with V Shadow and Reaper. Truck Gnome in the back firing long range. Wiseman helping bring up the rear from the center and Droth also supporting Zero with Dimitri. So far I'd give the tactical edge to CRS as uh, UEF apparently taking the YOLO route of strategy. Just turn towards the enemy and fly. Though that side armor isn't the thickest. He is preventing his weapons from being stripped at the very least. Oh, here <laughs> comes Enderov. <laughs> Giving him a little bit of a love kiss. Oh no, he activated Afterburner. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and Integrity Mode. That was an integrity wow. ram kill, the first we've seen in quite a while. Wow. That was exactly the weak spot that I exploited so long ago on that ship design. That's uh, right wow. where the cockpit is as soon as uh, you see the ship widening out. Super easy to land a shot on and that was beautiful. Pretty good. 
Dr. Ruff now going after V Shadow Zero. Is he gonna pull the same trick? Oh my god. They're all built the same. Bro, no. Nope. why you can't. You realize the danger? And his shields come back up right at the last second. It's a good thing Enderoth didn't go into integrity mode, otherwise he would have been cut in half by V Shadow's shields coming back up over top of him. V Shadow's shields go back down, taking a cold cannon shot to the rear. Enderoth going with the integrity ram, afterburner straight through the side, removing more than half of V Shadow's. No, just about under half, actually. Entire ship, all in one go. Uh, it is still flying. So that's good. Yep. Looks like Dimitri and Wiseman focusing on the corpse of uh, one of the cruisers there. Now owned by Preston, since uh, the previous pilot did not claim. That's okay. Ah, this is Preston flying an actually intact cruiser, not the other cruiser that was just assigned his name over there. Whoops! Intact for how much longer? It's a good the question, it is down. holding up. He's getting... He's getting blasted. Looks like that was an ND with those railguns. Yep. Dimitri taking some friendly fire from Zero's coil cannons. Just switch over. Make sure you're going in for high speed pass behind Preston. Some asteroids. It doesn't look like he's under a whole lot of control. I think I could see his invincible subgrid at the rear there, uh, floating. Yep, it's it's no longer attached at all. It's gonna run into those roids, and a bunch of stuff's gonna bounce around on the inside and render him red. That'll be it for him. Last man standing on uh, UF's team here. It's gonna be V Shadow, the man who is pretty much crippled from the start. I wonder if he still has an invincible subgrid. And allegedly he does. Counter battery fire from missiles coming out on the V Shadow straight into that open side of his... Here's some Tartarus. And that's it. That is a missile kill on the last remaining UEF cruiser from Enderoth. Game. Wow. Well, that was exciting. Wow. And, uh... Everyone had bet on UAF to win, pretty much. Really?